It's funny actually because I was I was talking to uh, somebody the other day about uh, about jewelry and what have you, and I've never worn any even oh, right. my wedding ring just because I find it you know quite yeah, you know, kind of yeah. con, con, kind of restrictive. So I kind of like not wear it as, as much. I've never kind of worn necklaces and right, even okay. a watch or anything. But you've got some serious some serious. Well, I'll probably jewelry is probably the wrong word. But what are they? Uh, well, basically, these are bonding rings between myself and Peter. And every time um, I achieve something uh, between myself and Peter as a challenge, yeah. um, I get a, a ring. And they signify each progression into mediumship. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the key, the, the key's very nice as well. What's the key for? Um, that's from Molten Towers. It's one of my oh. favourite rides, uh, mm. number 13. So, yeah, there you go. Boss. <laughs> That's Living Thing from ELO on Lights Off FM. Hope you're doing okay today. I'm Simon Greening, and I've got somebody in the studio now that I've been trying to get on the show for ages, and he's finally here. Merica Laura, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? You okay? Really, really good. Good to have you here. Thank you so much for coming in. The day before what has got to be your busiest time of the year, it's Halloween Eve. Yes, um, Halloween Eve. Very excited. 2015. Um, and, you know, what I'll say is what a fantastic year it's been. And I'm looking forward to some um, some kind of investigations um, with some friends tomorrow in a, a very spooky location. So that's what I'm doing. Have you got a massive Halloween planned? I have indeed. Uh, I'm going to one of my good friends' house um, in the Lake District. It's an old 18th century um, mm. kind of house. Yeah. Um, very creepy looking. So, I mean, what... What better place to go on Halloween um, with your spooky friends? Um, so that's what I'll be doing. Um, he's got a very good friend of mine. Um, his name is Frank and Furt. I just want to say a little hello to him because he's yeah. listening. Um, and with, tomorrow we'll be learning a brand new dance called the Time Warp. Oh, wow. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Yeah. So it'll be great, yeah. Looking forward to it. Can you actually enjoy a Halloween party in a modern place or does it always have to be somewhere spooky? Um, well, no, I could, I could go to the pub. Yeah. Um, but, you know, obviously Halloween is usually, um, in the past, I've done a lot of investigations uh, with, like, um, you know, people that have paid to go on yeah. real investigations. Uh, and I decided after, you know, what we've done with Scary's Places this year, just to take a little bit of time off and to enjoy Halloween. Because I do, I do enjoy Halloween more than Christmas, I'd say. So, yeah, I'm going with some friends um to to their house and we're going to just let our hair down and and peter's looking uh forward to having a night off for for once so yeah you kind of mention that you're taking a break from scariest places but if you kind of look at social media your twitter the facebook of not living tv it would seem and fans are kind of a bit up in arms that maybe scariest places is no more and that's it what's happening well yes you know i, I you know we from the last uh, episode at uh, Warwick Tudor House uh, there were a few things that did happen um you know off off camera um well i mean you can kind of go into this into a little more detail now hopefully and you can maybe give us the the kind of exclusive here because what seemed to happen was there was a recording of what people thought might have been a private conversation but which was caught an evp recording annette had been kind of caught having what she thought was a very private conversation with carl, with carl yep. uh, about wanting to and it seems such a weird thing to say to sack peter don't quite know yes. how that works but but that's what she was caught caught saying yes uh, basically what happened was at the time peter wasn't there because he was on uh, a transatlantic holiday mm-hmm. on board the rms titanic yeah attending the uh, enchantment under the sea dance oh, okay. so he wasn't really you know involved yeah um during that episode but on the way down to warwick i was informed by peter who briefly came back um to me while we were driving down oh so he, he gave you a, a kind of heads he up came back you off. he came back yes during the night of filming um everything seemed to go as normal but you could sense in the air something wasn't right yeah. uh, it was not boss as I usually say. Um, so as I was leaving, it must have been about three o'clock in the morning, um, I did notice um, that Carl and Annette were talking, but I was I couldn't make out what they were talking right, about. Okay. Obviously, it's come to light now. The show has ended, mm. what it was all about. So myself, thinking, you know, ended the, the night's investigation, um, it was time to just, just 
to to leave and yeah. and then you know we were just getting ready to to film the next episode yeah but then that kind of like came to an end an episode earlier than you kind of thought that it, was, it did that it was kind yes. of going to people will obviously always ask in this kind of situation is there going to be you know one more a christmas special a halloween special a reunion for the guys is that something that you can see happening um to be honest at this time no i don't think so um but you know we're all still waiting for ABBA to reform. So if ABBA reform, yeah. we should reform, I think. That's the motto and the feeling that I've got. So what are the what are the guys doing now? Or have you not had any real kind of contact with them? I've never met ABBA, but I'm sure that, you know, if I ever did, yeah. I'm, I'm sure they'd be fine. Yeah. And Annette? Oh, you mean my team? Yeah. Oh, right, OK. Uh, yes, well, um, Annette has opened a coffee shop um in in Wales somewhere. Oh, so um, she's she's no longer apparent, in showbiz. She's apparently she's either taking time off. Yeah. Or she is. Yes, she's she's given up um, presenting. Mm. Okay. So there's that. Simon unfortunately got deported back to oh, Ireland. Gosh, so right, okay. you know. So a lot of the team are, are now spread out. Um, and obviously, I'm still in Liverpool uh, doing my day to day investigations with paranormal teams. Yeah. So I don't know what's going to happen. And and obviously, with the future, um, I'm going to be very busy again. Yeah. So well, this who is knows? the new show that you're kind of hinting yes. at, and you kind of mentioned, you know, on the ground here in Liverpool, yes. you're starting to do some some research. And the new show, you know, kind of one door closes, another one opens, almost rising like a phoenix from the ashes of scariest places. Is is Merica Laura's ghost town? So tell us what you can about the new show. Well, medical. Laura's Ghost Towns is going to be very similar to Scariest Places. Uh-huh. Um, we will be travelling the UK just like we did before. Um, we'll be going to towns that have um, spooky stories, basically. Yeah. And we'll be finding out if the tales of these towns um, hold any weight okay. in them. So instead of just doing the general investigation style, yeah. we're going to towns... We're finding out the stories of these towns, and then obviously with the help of Peter, uh, we're going to be able to uncover the truth behind these stories. So I'm very excited to be getting involved in this new project. And, you know, what I will say is I'm looking forward to it. It's, like you said... You know, it's a new door opening, a new horizon. So you've kind of hinted that there are going to be new people involved in the show in front of the camera. Is there going to be a new presenter for America Laura's Ghost Towns? Um, what I have been told from um, Ashley, the producer at Not Living TV, is we are in the early stages mm-hmm. of looking for a new presenter. Cool. Um, there's been a couple of names suggested. Uh, Michael Partington. Parky! Um, I mean, that's he's a legend if you get it. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, a different, different Michael Partington. Oh. He does local radio in Manchester. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, still. I mean, if he, he obviously must know his stuff if he's, uh, if he's kind so. of in the frame. Um, we did speak briefly with Tim Burton, okay. but obviously he's in the process of Edward Scissorhands too. Right, okay. So, you Very know, busy. he hasn't got the time to yeah. uh, to get involved with that. And also, um, there has been rumours that we've been speaking to Jeremy Clarkson as well. Oh, okay. So, So I think he's still out of work. Well, if, you know, that ends up coming to fruition, you know, make sure, you know, he gets on with the producers because there's, uh, you know, there's this kind of history there and, you, you know, you want to, you don't want to, you know, any, anything to kind of, any scandal to kind of hit the show in the early, uh, in the early days. I wouldn't have thought any kind of scandal would take place, but, you know, I think it's very important that people understand that you have to have a good connection with our producer because they're the people in charge of the show. So I think anybody coming in will, uh, will have to obviously get along with our producer. Is and it, uh, is that the person I met earlier when I was making the teas? Ashley, yes, he's in the green room at the moment well, yes. now do you know what we kind of we were having a bit of a laugh out there earlier on but right, we kind okay. of you know before we brought you into the studio and you know what? I've always actually thought maybe I could kind of do some some telly it's something I've always thought of you know doing uh, you know yeah, alongside you, the radio stuff yeah so why maybe, not maybe you can suggest something yeah maybe? you know obviously when we finish you know yeah. you'll, you'll come on with us when we when we finish here today <laughs> they, and... they always say you should ask a guest on the radio right okay no take backs well you know <laughs> exactly yeah you might as well you know ask these questions yeah. while people are on the spot you know you <laughs> know and that's what's works. happening right now that's how it works. you know so yeah i mean obviously you know you got to go through the application oh, um, of course, I don't want any, you know any, any special favors but oh, just to be to be put in the to mix. be considered yeah absolutely. for the show okay yeah. well you know as we leave here today i'm sure i will introduce you properly to ashley he's a very really nice guy yeah. and you know i'm sure if you know if 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 he takes a shine to you, yeah. 
then who wow, knows what okay. might happen, yeah. Well, it's been really, really, as I say, I've been waiting for ages to kind of finally get you into the studios at Lights Off FM. It's been great to have you here today. Uh, America Laura's Ghost Towns, when are we going to be able to see it? Uh, it should be out January. Uh, okay. They'll they consist of four episodes, and hopefully we should be able to have that from late January to February. Yeah. Uh, and then that'll be, we'll see how that series goes, and who knows what happens Good after stuff. that. So, yeah, very excited. And thanks very much for, for letting me and Peter, um, <laughs> you know, come on the show uh, in our hometown of Liverpool so yeah not very excited. a problem not a problem okay well we'll uh, we'll play this now in honor of the in honor of the new show uh, this is the specials and ghost town on lights off fm oh. 